Call the member for Hughes. Thank you, uh, Deputy Speaker. And I'm pleased to rise to speak uh, on this matter of public importance. And I'd like to start by acknowledging the contribution from Macmill the member for Macmillan, who brought some sense to this debate. Mr Deputy Speaker, we all think that interest rates at 48 per cent are outrageous. I personally think credit card interest rates of 18 per cent are outrageous. And, Deputy Speaker, maybe we as the go here the call. You're in government. Get out there and legislate it and put caps on. That's what we hear from the other side, Deputy Speaker. But the minute we do that, the minute we decide that we should put a cap on what the price of the interest rate should be, Deputy Speaker, we limit the funds and opportunity that some people will get. That's what we do, Deputy Speaker. And the reason why that 48 per cent interest rate is charged because the reality is that a lot of these payday lending simply don't pay it back. There are very high rates of default, Deputy Speaker. Very high rates of default. And that is why that interest rate is unfortunately so high. Certainly we'd all like to see those interest rates come down. And often when you think, Deputy Speaker, it would be great, let's just legislate them. But what will be the consequences of doing that? We'll be actually, Deputy Speaker, we'll be harming the very people that we think we are helping. That's what we're doing, Deputy Speaker. Because there are many people, Deputy Speaker, in our society, unfortunately, that have poor credit records, that can't access finance from our banks or the normal financial institutions. And when they face an emergency situation, Deputy Speaker, Regrettably, they are often forced to go to a payday lender. Now, if we put legislation in that prevents that, Deputy Speaker, what are these people going to do? What are they going to do if they face an emergency where they desperately need cash, and yet, Deputy Speaker, we in government have put legislation in that actually prevents them getting it because we think we are trying to protect them and save them, Deputy Speaker? This is the, why this area has to be thoroughly thought through, Deputy Speaker. Time after time in government, we see the law of unintended, unintended consequences apply, where we think we are doing the right thing, and yet, Deputy Speaker, what looks moral, what looks correct, yes, we're helping the poor, Deputy Speaker, but time after time when we do this, it is not thought through properly and it harms those very people we expect and try to help. Now, Deputy Speaker, one of the reasons why, as the member for Hinkler mentioned, that people pay, need payday loans is because of the shocking price of electricity in this nation. And nowhere, Deputy Speaker, is the price as shocking as in the state of South Australia. The state, Deputy Speaker, that decided it was a brilliant policy to have a 50 per cent renewable energy target. Well, what's happened, Deputy Speaker? We see the results. The Australian Energy Regulator's recent report, report shows the average residential electricity bill in Queensland is $580, in New South Wales is $653, but in South Australia, the state with this wonderful renewables, Deputy Speaker, it is $900. And if we look at the electricity disconnections, Deputy Speaker, in South Australia, 10,902 households last financial year had their electricity disconnected, cut off because they couldn't pay it. And if we look at that, Deputy Speaker, in percentage terms, compared to the ACT, Deputy Speaker, you are seven times more likely to have your electricity disconnected if you live in South Australia as if you live here in the ACT, Deputy Speaker. Seven times more. That's the effect, Deputy Speaker, of the policies of pursuing reckless and ideological renewable energy targets. And yet, we have the members of the Labor Party, Deputy Speaker, they want to adopt a policy, they want to copy the South Australian policy that has delivered the highest amount of electricity disconnections in the nation. If they really care about the poor 
And if they really care about people having to access payday lending at high interest rates, tip finger, what they should do is drop that 50 per cent renewable energy target, because we know exactly where that will lead. It will lead to South Australia. We've seen the results of this failed experiment, and I call on the good members I of that side. Members, time drop has that